Installing cables. All cables must be installed and supported in a neat and professional manner so that the cable is not damaged during normal use of the building. Cables installed and run over beams. Through studs and in horizontal chases are usually naturally supported. NM, non-metallic sheathed cables, Romex cable. Non-metallic sheathed, NM Romex, cable shall be supported and secured with staples, cable ties, straps, hangers or similar hardware and installed in such a way as not to damage the cable. Approved supports, listed, for NM cable. Staples Cable stackers Cable ties, etc. Requirements for installation and support NM non-metallic sheathed cable, Romex cable The distance between the supports shall not exceed 4.5 feet The support from the enclosures, outlet box, shall not exceed 12 inches After the cable enters the junction box, the cable must be approximately 12 to 18 inches long after entering the junction box for splicing, cable connection. If staples are used as cable supports, the staples must be approved to support NM cables. The NM cable must be stapled on a flat surface, not on the edge. The NM cable must be stapled on a flat surface, not on the edge. Do not drive the staples too hard into the cables. Staples should be drive tight enough to hold the cable in place, but not so tight as to pinch and damage the cable. Driving the staple too hard can damage the cable. Can damage the cable. Do not drive the staple over the staple during the stapling another cable in same place. The staple must contact the cable with its flat surface, not a sharp edge. The cable must not be stapled closer than one and quarter inch from the edge of the stud. No more than two cables can be stapled with the same staple. Do not damage the cable when removing the staple. If it is not possible to staple the cable, too narrow space, a cable tie or other way of supporting the cable should be used. The low voltage cable must not occupy the same cable hole as the power cable, it must be run in a separate drilled hole. Cable Stackers The edge of the cable stapled in the center of the 2 by 4 inches stud must be 1 and quarter inch from the edge of the stud. Otherwise use hangers, stackers, etc. to support this cable. If there are more than two cables running along a 2 by 4 inches stud, use cable stackers, etc. to keep the cables away from the stud. If the junction box does not have cable clamps or it is not possible to mount a cable clamp to the junction box, and the cable enters freely into the box knockout, the cable must be secured to the structure with staples or other means. In this case, the cable stacker does not support the cable at the entrance to the junction box to meet NEC, National Electrical Code, requirements. 7 8 hole for cable. 
up to three 12 or 14 gauge nm cables per drilled 7 8 inch hole in the 2 by 4 inch stud steel cable protection plate nail plate use a nail plate to protect the cable if necessary